It's no secret I love designing visually stunning dashboards and templates in Notion. But when I create a new template, dashboard, or full workspace build, I do a little pre-build planning first. And the two things that I always plan first are the workspace wireframe or the workspace architecture and the design theme. Once I have my visual design established, I start building out the main dashboard page and source databases. But here's my secret. I create pre-designed page templates inside of the dashboard page. This means I can quickly create new pages that match the visual design of a dashboard or template without having to manually change the cover image, icons, divider images, page layout, elements, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. But first, if we haven't met, I'm Tasia like Fantasia here with another Notion quick tip video for you. Before we get into it, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like this video for that YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to know when I publish new quick tip videos. All right, let's dive in. As an example of what I'm talking about, this is my TM Creative HQ workspace that I use daily inside of my Notion account. So you see, I have a very branded visual design going on with this dashboard with a custom cover image, custom icon, little divider images using that same cover image. I use a synced block menu inside of here. And I use this same basic layout for all of the internal pages within this dashboard. It's a little small, so I'm going to go ahead and expand this a bit for you. But you see these other pages in here, the vision, content, resources, people, offers, operations. Those are all of my main dashboard category pages or sub pages within this higher level workspace. And for each of these internal pages, I have that same exact design aesthetic going on but with a different custom icon. Again, you'll see with my functional pages, I don't like using a cover image on those. So I just have the menu bar and a simple divider. And what that does is it allows me to stay focused on the most important thing for that page, which is actually doing the thing that page is meant to help me do. And here you can see this is what a page template looks like. So when I first started building out this workspace, I created this page. That way, whenever I'm inside of my content page, I can just quickly recreate this anytime I need to add a new sub page to any of these dashboard pages. Before we dive into this tutorial, let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in my live content page. We have the content page with that same visual design aesthetic used throughout the rest of this workspace. And then you'll see under dashboards here, this is where I have a template button for a new content dashboard page. And that's where my secret little trick comes into play. Right now, you can see if I click this template button, it's gonna create a brand new page with all of the primary design components for a new sub page within the main dashboard page, all pre-built for me. We have the data basement here, and you can see we have the building blocks down there, which I showed you how to quickly create and duplicate those in another Notion Quick Tip video. I'll be sure to link to that video so you can go ahead and check it out if you missed it. But this is how you can use those two different design hacks in conjunction to quickly create pre-built Notion pages. We're gonna go ahead and do this live on a build together. Let's say we're creating a new page. And for the purposes of this video, I'll try to use the full Notion commands. That way you can see what we're doing here. New dashboard. And I always like to go full width. We're gonna do an empty page with icon. Let's go ahead and add an icon. We'll select one of these Notion ones. Let's go ahead and make it a pretty purple star. And let's say we want to do menu bar. We're gonna go ahead and pop that into a synced block. There's the menu bar, it lives on the main dashboard page. 
going to copy and sync and add a little bit of space so we have some room to work on our design. Okay, we have our synced block menu bar in here now. Let's go ahead and add a cover image. Let's do something purple abstract. Let's see. This one's kind of cool. Do I like that one? Nah, I want to do this like kind of more swirled pattern. Yeah, that's cool. So now we have our cover image and a menu bar. And now we just need to add our little database mint toggle. Because this is just my little design aesthetic. And with this menu bar, you can make this as simple or complex as you want it to be. A lot of times I'll add lines to the top and bottom of it. So now we have our menu bar and you can see those lines pop up down there. We have our cover image set. And this is where you can go ahead and build out the page layout however you want it to be. Since this is the main dashboard page, you just build it however you want it. We're gonna go ahead and add a new template button. The default is always to add a new to-do, but we're going to add a new page template. And instead of a to-do block, we're gonna go ahead and just turn this into a page. So it creates a page, new page template. Again, empty page with icon. Let's say I want to make this one full width because the other, the main dashboard page is full width. We're going to go with that purple star to stay on theme. And let's add that purple abstract cover. And we want to go back to our main dashboard page and go ahead and highlight <laughs> that synced block. Click that copy and sync button. And if you need to go in and edit one of these template buttons, just go ahead and click on the settings to configure template. Jump in here and now you can just click into that page template. Template page. So meta, I know. And let's go ahead and add our synced block menu bar. Add some space for content in the middle. We'll do another menu bar. And this is where now you can add another database mint toggle. You can add those pre-designed callout blocks. Let's go ahead and add one of those. I call them building blocks. So now I'm just building out the little building blocks section of the database mint. You can add additional databases or whatever, however many pages deep you need to go with this internal page. But from here, let's go ahead and do a call out block. I'm gonna go call out and let's again, make it a purple star to stay on theme. Make a quick copy of that. Now you have a couple building blocks here, but let's say we want to create a little bit of a blocked layout for this template. Let's make a few copies of those. So now we have a bunch of building blocks to work with. Move a couple in here, we can come over here and build out some different layouts. Let's say we want to go th three by three on this one. And now you have kind of this pre-built template. You can go ahead and customize those callout blocks however you want them. Now you can see we have a page template layout. Head back over to our dashboard page. Now that's fully built out. And you can add as many sub pages as you need page one, and here's a cool thing. I like to do this with my menu bars. I just add text and we go page one. And for that, what we're gonna do is copy the link to the current page using command or control L and command V when you highlight the text. And now that's gonna create that hyperlink. That's how we do those synced block pages. Let's change this to say home and now, if we go back to our dashboard page, again, we can copy the link, double click on home, and it's gonna hyperlink to that home page. So we have page one, let's say we want page one up here. We can add a new template page. Again, adding on to our synced block menu. And now that's hyperlinked as well. And you can see 
you have additional building blocks already pre-built. You have your page structure already pre-built. And now in the menu block, because this is it part of that page template button we created, now that menu bar just keeps updating as you add more and more pages. So page one, page two, you can, again, format this page however you want. And you can do that an infinite number of times until you have your base dashboard built out the way you want it. I hope you found this new Notion quick tip helpful and you can use it in your Notion workspace to design beautiful, visually stunning dashboards with just a simple click of the button. As always, friends, stay creative.